Indiana Fever beat Mystics for third win in a row as Core 4 continues to gel. Indianapolis The Indiana Fever won their third game in a row with an 88-81 victory over the Washington Mystics at Gainbridge Field House. Here are three observations. The Indiana Fever are slowly but surely getting hot in the WNBA. Hello please click join button to help me get equipments and make more quality videos for you, or you know just to get me a juice. Thanks already. After starting the season at 2-9 with 11 games in 20 days the Fever have now won 5 of their past 7 games and 3 in a row. Indiana is in the playoff race sitting at 8th with a 6-10 record. And they're approaching something they haven't accomplished in 9 years, 4 straight wins. Indiana last won 4 in a row in 2015 when the Tulsa Shock still existed and Indiana legend Tomika Catchings was still playing. The Fever will go for four in a row Friday at Atlanta a team they beat earlier this week. Yes all of their wins so far have come against bottom half teams in the WNBA including the Dream Chicago Sky and Washington Mystics. But stacking wins is crucial for a young team like the Fever and they're doing it well. For the second straight game each of Indiana's top four players finished the game in double figures, Alia Boston and Kelsey Mitchell each had 22 Caitlin Clark had 18 and N. Alyssa Smith had 11. While it's the second straight game this has happened it's still just the second time the Fever have been able to get all of its stars two number one picks and two number two picks able to gel together. Clark and Boston's pick and roll and post entry game is also continuing to develop, Boston started the game 3-4-3 from the field while Clark started with three assists. Clark flirted with a triple-double on Wednesday for the second consecutive game 2 finishing with 16 points 12 rebounds and 6 assists. With 11 games in 20 days the Fever had a tough start to the season with little rest and little practice time. Now with 4 games in 16 days Indiana has had time to practice new offensive schemes and learn how to work together with game experience to back it up. Watch out Fever second year center Alia Boston could become a threat beyond the arc. Boston came to the Fever as a post that played nearly always in the paint but she needed to have at least somewhat of a three-point range in case of emergencies. She showed her three-point range last season in a July game against the Liberty a last second three-pointer tied the score forcing overtime against a top WNBA team. That time she jumped into her teammates arms in celebration. This year it's becoming more normal for the reigning Eastern Conference Player of the Week. Boston found herself open beyond the arc got the ball positioned her feet just beyond the three-point line and launched the ball toward the net. Swish. The Fever bench jumped up in celebration as Boston casually ran back on defense. This season she's 4-4-10 in her limited attempts beyond the arc. It's a new part of her game and it's something that could become a threat to opposing teams. Caitlin Clark scored 18 points and led the Fever in rebounding with 12 boards. She also added 6 assists with 6 turnovers. This article originally appeared on Indianapolis Star, Caitlin Clark double-double helps Indiana Fever to third straight win.